Instead of making the wealthy pay their fair share, some Republicans, some Republicans want Medicare and Social Security to sunset. I'm not saying it's a majority. Let me give you anybody who doubts it. Contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you, I, I enjoy conversion. You know, it means if, if Congress doesn't keep the programs the way they are, they'd go away. Other Republicans say, I'm not saying it's a majority of you. I don't even think it's even a significant. But it's being proposed by individuals. I'm not I'm politely not naming them, but it's being proposed by some of you. Look, folks. This is a WWE event or the State of the Union. Uh, there's President uh, Biden trying to talk about a couple of kernels of reality, even couched it with, I'm not saying it, but I'm sorry, my bad. I did get started off apologizing and still caught the ire of so many Republicans at the State of the Union last night. Uh, so as he's talking about how they're looking to get rid of Social Security and Medicare, they push back. Maybe it was a ploy to keep um, them in line for the reality of the situation. Let's watch him continue as they talk about this. The idea is that we're not going to be we're, we're not going to be moved into being threatened to default on the debt if we don't respond. <laughs> Folks. So folks, as we all apparently agree, Social Security and Medicare is off the off the books now, right? They're not to be started. All right. We got unanimity. And he called them out as they did it there. It's kind of tough to boo that he said you guys are against uh, Social Security and Medicare. And then when he says, so we're all on the same page for them to sit there with their arms crossed. Which one is it, bro? It's almost like he played them. That old man who can't think straight somehow got you to agree to something that Later on, we're going to see if they go back to proposing more of it. One of those folks that was very upset about it, you saw some of the reactions, Senator Mike Lee, which we're going to get to. Marjorie Taylor Greene was getting a lot of the attention for her reactions and responses to things. So in Marjorie Taylor Greene fashion, she took to CNN to talk about why, because self-promotion is key. Let's watch. Contact my office. I'll give you a copy. I'll give you a copy of the proposal. That means Congress doesn't vote. Well, I'm glad to see you. No, I tell you. Yeah, he he got exactly what he deserved, and I am not sorry one bit. And I don't think Speaker McCarthy is upset with any of us for for expressing our views and being unwilling to allow the president to lie. What am I going to do? Stand up and give golf claps? No, thank you. I don't clap for liars. He got exactly what he deserved. So again, I want you guys to stop and pause here. Uh, you're an American, you care about the state of our country, our economy, your education system, housing, uh, uh, work, uh, wages, all of this. And her objective is to say Joe Biden got what he deserved, which is what? You jeering? What does that mean? Who gives a good, who cares whether or not he got booed or not by you? Does that mean something? Does that end somewhere? Does that change policy? Does that mean anything else except for just political theater? That is her first and last objective as a congresswoman. Here's a couple pictures of her, uh, I guess, politicking, I guess, legislating, I guess, doing the good work of the people who voted her back into office. Damn shame because that's what she thinks it is. I guess you guys are backing her up. By the way, um, let you know, what, let's start here. Let's stop here for a second, uh, uh, Francesca. I'd love to see your first thought. Hear your first thoughts on this, though, uh, as we go to the hypocrisy behind all this because we know it's there. But first, Marjorie Taylor Greene decided to be the lead cheerleader here. I mean, we didn't see as much as Lauren Boebert last time when they both were shoulder to shoulder screaming I like know. this. I know. I guess this is only working for one of them now. No, so sad for the mean girls. You can't <laughs> sit here anymore. <laughs> On Tuesdays, we wear white and we look like a red pilled Miss Piggy, okay? <laughs> uh, no offense to Miss Piggy, I've made this joke before. You guys know I stand Miss Piggy, but damn, uh, there she's just giving off that energy. Uh, like, of course, Lauren Bobert's gonna say that. I just, yeah, it's so rich. This is a person who's like, I don't clap for liars, except <laughs> for the biggest liar there is, who says that he is still the president and won the 2020 election. Like, really, Marjorie, you don't clap for liars? But the actual substance here, and I think the follow up question is 
So you believe in uh, protecting Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid, do you not? Do you know what those programs are, Marjorie Taylor Greene? Like, do you know how many people in your state of Georgia they're affecting? Do you know if your state has expanded Medicaid as stipulated under the socialist ACA, right? Like, these are all important questions. So, yeah, this is all hilarious window dressing around it. And I think it's, Look, I hate the standing and the sort of like the ovation and all that stuff. But to like jeer and yell and boo, I just feel like is very, um, we've had enough of that, like just in general. So it feels a little bit beneath everything, but it also means they're booing for the right reasons. Um, two last points. I thought that Joe Biden did a good job uh, in saying like, I love conversion. Which is <laughs> which is so brilliant, like yeah. that line. I love that. Oh, I just converted you all, so you do want to stand by Social Security. And then the other line, like, so we all agree, a little thumbs up, you know. He he could have stuck the landing harder, but he was cheeky. He was good. He was dark branded. And this thing we should always uh, realize, uh, especially coming from lefties like you and I, is, yo. Everyone's not always jumping on everything Joe Biden says. That's one of the misconceptions that many of them pitch. So when he does do these things, honestly, I was a bit surprised. I was like, did someone tell him to be combative when they come with the booing? Or did he just decide to go off script and do it himself? Either way goes, I think it's the right approach to take, which he carried into today. But let's go into some of the hypocrisy here. Because since we're talking about Social Security and Medicare and whether or not Republicans really are inside of it, as he said, not the majority of you guys, I could name names. We do have some names, actually. Let's watch this. Now, Congressman, should military spending cuts be on the table and put on the table by a Republican? Well, look, I, I agree with uh, Jim Jordan uh, that we are going to carve out uh, woke policies out of the military. Okay. If we really want to talk about the debt and spending, it's the entitlements program that's 70%. Recently put out an 11 point plan to rescue America, two of the big points of which are, quote, all Americans should pay some income tax. It also says all federal legislation sunsets in five years. So that would raise taxes on half of Americans and potentially sunset programs like Medicare, Medicaid and Social Security. Why would you propose something like that in an election year? Sure. Well, John, that's, of course, the Democrat talking points. It's a no, no, it's plan. in the plan. It's in well, the plan. But, here's, here, but here's this thing about reality for a second. It's First of all, let's talk but, about but, Medicare. But Senator, but Senator hang on. John. So it's not a Democratic talking point. It's in the plan. We've got receipts. Some bitch, it's in the plan. What are you talking about? Republican with Democratic talking points is in the plan. I've got a more direct version of it. Midas Touch put this together because if you saw some of the reactions from those Republicans in the State of the Union, they were appalled. In fact, one was Mike Lee. Here's a side by side of him appalled and him saying appalling things. Oh. It will be my objective to phase out Social Security, nice. to pull it up by the roots and get rid of it. Here, here, here. Um, people who advise me politically always tell me that's dangerous, and I tell them, in that case, it's not worth my running. That's why I'm doing this, to get rid of that. Medicare and Medicaid are of the same sort and need to be pulled up. It needs to be shown over and over and over and over again, Francesca, and I hope they do it. That face, like, yeah, yeah, what? what? Like, what is he objecting to? The fact that he's saying the, the word is sunsetting, and he's like, no, 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 I want to. I want to dismantle them now. The sun takes <laughs> too long to set. We got to go now. But it is incredible to me that with a straight face, someone like Mike Lee can tell his constituents, who, from the looks of it, all happen to be seniors, that we should be gutting and ending Medicare and Social Security. Those people collect Social Security checks. They paid into it for their lives. I don't care. I know some. They have might have money. But they're also using Medicare. Medicare is a life saving program. People age into Medicare and wait to do so so they don't they can afford to go see the doctor. They can afford to get their meds, they can afford to get their treatment. Well, meds are another thing, right? We still haven't fully capped um, the costs on Medicare, although we're moving towards that direction as, as President yeah. Biden said last night. So 
It just it's just perfect. I love like they can't be on public record, JR. That's the main thing about this, right? What is the difference between those two videos? One was in the public eye, one was for private donors. Yep. Whenever you're trying to uh, get some conservative clout, you have to say it to folks, and sometimes they just might be recording before you go and uh, show your true self behind those closed doors. Uh, one last thing on this, Katie Porter, uh, Representative uh, Porter, she did her whiteboard thing. She was on television. She pointed out, which I think many people would know, things like Social Security and Medicare don't actually uh, aren't actually part of the problem with uh, the debt and deficit. What it is is people pay into that, as you pointed out, Fran Francesca. But we just take it and say you don't need that anymore. We got to give it to someone else. There's many facts that Biden went through last night that they didn't like, including the amount of money that uh, Trump's administration added to that. Let's not talk about that.